Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can back up your files. So let's get started. So if you guys didn't know, I'm working on a NAS project right now, and I actually have a link right over here. And one of the biggest things you gotta do is restore the NAS or back up or mirror the NAS. And I would like to show you guys how I would do that. Now so I currently use this program called Free File Sync, which works across all operating systems, Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. Now it's very, very similar to R-Sync, but it gives you a pretty nice GUI so you don't have to like worry about the commands. And sometimes when you're transferring files or backing up, you kind of want to see the visuals of what files are in that folder before you do it. What I like about this program, it's open source, and like I said, it's free. So let me show you guys. Now here we have the website, Free File Sync. All you have to do is just navigate over to download and then choose the operating system that you're going to be using. Now I'm going to be showing you guys on Windows and there's actually a lot of things you could do with this. Uh, mainly you could turn this into like a little batch setting and use a task scheduler. So you can set it up to a way where every day at 11 o'clock it'll back up your specific folder or something like that to your NAS. And I do this a lot because I have a two terabyte drive in my computer right now where I throw all my media like YouTube and I edit off that drive. And I, let's say 11 o'clock at night, my task scheduler would kick in and transfer this file over to my NAS. This way I have an archived version of everything on my two terabyte drive. So there's multiple things you could do. There's synchronization, there's two ways, there's mirror, and you can also customize your settings. So say you wanna just archive but not delete anything, you could set up everything through here. So to check this out, first you have to browse to a folder that you are gonna be backing up. Now I have a folder right over here called Visual Studio Projects 2010. All right, so I'm gonna select that folder, okay? And then on the right side, you have to select where it's gonna to go to. I'm gonna put it into my storage and backup. So now you select the folder. It's gonna be blank until you hit the compare. So as soon as you hit compare, it's gonna look at the files from one side and look at the other. And it's gonna see, you see this little icon that says, it's gonna transfer it over, copy new item to the right. You can also select and deselect certain things you don't want to back up. You know, so that's really up to you. Now you can actually save this entire task. So you have it on the left side, or you can actually save it as like a batch job. And that's what I was talking about. You could actually set it up. So it runs minimized or runs normal, ignore errors. This is what I usually set. And when finished, you can shut down the computer. So you could save this onto your desktop and I'll just call it batch run, whatever it's default. As soon as I double click this batch file, you can see on my desktop right over here it's gonna actually run this task where it's gonna transfer all these files over. Now, because I have it set up as synchronized, it's gonna know that if I delete a file off one drive, it's gonna delete it off the other. I don't usually like this, so I'm gonna switch this over just to mirror, or you could do update. So these two are the best options to choose if you don't wanna lose anything. So I'm gonna do update, and it's gonna know to only transfer files over and not delete anything. So once everything is all set up, and you're gonna to have to save it again because that's the batch file on the, uh, for my desktop. I'm just gonna hit synchronize. Once you hit synchronize, it's gonna do its thing, calculate the time, and if it does in any chance that something happens and you lose this, say like power loss or something like that, you can always just hit it again and it'll know which files that it already transferred and it'll just move the files that it, you know, that didn't transfer. So you hear that beep, that means everything's all done and all my files are transferred over. Now, the folder doesn't retain its date modified. It's gonna be a new folder, but everything underneath, you can see it's retained the date of 2012. And if I go over to like my game test 2011, and if I right click it, go over to properties and go to details, you're gonna see the creation date is still the same, like 2011. So it doesn't lose any of that information, which is very important when you're transferring files. So that is it. This is the tool that I'm basically gonna be using to transfer all my files from my desktop or my other NAS to the new NAS and set up all the task jobs and everything. Again, this works in all operating systems. So if you're if you're seeing this just for Windows, it's not it. You could use the same program for Linux and everything else. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please hit that little like button. If you guys have any questions about this or use a separate or different tool that I might wanna take a look into, leave it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.